That's that joint right there, man. That is that that oh, cut. Shit. Pardon yeah, my whiteness. Know, Pardon my whiteness. <laughs> <laughs> you know what? That you know what? Never. That, that nothing to do with it. What's that? It's about rap. Music. Your whiteness. It's about rap music. Yes, indeed. Songs about fucking rap music. Yeah. Let's get back to my man Shug Knight Jr. Though. Shug, what up? Oh no. What's oh, good? Oh, he man? held that whole time. Yeah. But um. There was something else that struck me about New York Oil that was strange. And I, I felt like he told on himself. Okay, in what way? Well, he referenced a lot of the fans of Nas that get emotional about Nas being criticized as being stands, you know? Mm-hmm. And he also said that he subscribed to this message board. That's the same term that they use on this message board all the time. And I'm not even going to reference this message board because I think a lot of people know what it is. But they're like the biggest anti nas site in the world. It's found, Founders anti nas you know? Right. Okay. You so, know, because he's talking. already been exposed for being a, a whore for Death Jam. I don't you think... Know? You know, he said that he gets a lot of hate, though, by on the message boards. People coming to him saying that you a hater, this, this, and this, yeah, and this. Yeah, I, I wouldn't be surprised. Uh, any opinionated person is going to be a hater. You know, but what I'm saying is Neo Oil is not bringing nothing original as far as the Nas criticism. The shit he's saying, Jay's been saying. Jay-Z been saying. Oh, yeah, Jay-Z said just because you wear a kufi don't mean that you're smart. That was one of his famous... Uh, right. When Jay was like, just because where you just because you wear a kufi don't mean that you're smart. Yeah, you don't understand you what he's saying. Yeah. You know? Yeah. So, right. yeah. I mean, it's a lot of people within taking shots. And, I mean, to me... You know, no, I'm you, like, you, what makes New York Oil's statement so profound and, and as far as the Nas criticism. I don't understand. I thought he was going to bring something new to the table. I think he's had the most thorough criticism. I mean, the it dude is. broke it down from A to Z. Yeah, he keeps his point going. Yeah. I mean, it, he had no problems outlining everything that he had. That's why I, I mean, don't know, because when I was on that chat board, a lot of them cats was saying he's kind of all over the place with his thoughts. He's what? not focused. It's like his criticisms runs from Oh, Nas is overhyped. To Nas hasn't kept it straight. Nas is not. I mean, pinpoint it as to what's your main beef with Nas, because he really does sound like a hater. You know. Yeah, yeah. I and mean, I, I, he I acknowledged that though. Pinpointed. Like he said, when you go into yeah. that conversation, yeah. it's a no win. No matter what right. he says, you're gonna get the hate label, regardless. And I mean, he acknowledged that. And the fact that you know that you're gonna get that hate label, but you continue to. Speak out on it. It's hard to do. That's hard to do. That ain't easy. Uh, but he can do it. I, yeah. I, I don't know because when Dipset was coming at Nas, a lot of people was feeling them on that. Nah. That you no, know, why Nas had that just go off on cam and then I blew. Nas has made some dumb mistakes. I admit there's some shit I don't like about Nas that I criticize. But I think Neil Art takes it to the extreme where like this dude seriously has a problem with him. You know? Yeah, I, I mean it could the chat was right, uh huh. Yeah, I mean, so you think it's personal, really? You, I, 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 I hope not. I don't think New York Oil is that type of dude. I really respect his craft, you know. But I mean, he was really taking the conversation a little too far. When I mean, in that interview with y'all, he, he referenced the whole the tech, the the, the, the tech the, on the, the, the tech situation with a large professor being on tour. I'm like, what is the relevance of that? To to this situation now, are we questioning the street code as well? What the hell? No, I, don't I think he's just trying to prove that people that he was there. I think people look at him as like, who the f is NY Oil? But if you go yeah. back and look at his history, well, he had yeah. he was a member of the UMCs, which is like they debut album yeah. dropped in ninety. I don't know that shit. Damn. Yeah, you remember the track Blue Cheese? That's a good point. And then, yes, I remember Blue Cheese. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That, was, that was that was his group. <laughs> yeah. So he's been around <laughs> since that era. Staten Island or something? Yeah, yep, Staten Island. So he okay. was he was there, was around in that era, knows the cats from that era, did shows with the dudes in that era. So he just trying to basically show that he's not some dude that just popped up in 06 and wants to okay. criticize. Right. He's, well, he's got the history. My next question. He was part of the UMCs, which was basically like happy rap back then. You know, how the hell you got so angry, you know? Now, you, you ain't asking. See, the thing is, it's funny because you asking shit that I asked myself. So I did some reading. Then they UMC's second, second album... Was a little more. It was a little bit more. No, it, no, it, 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 it was a little. It was a little more street, but then they had some songs that still sounded like the first album, so people kind of yeah. got conflicted. Like, what's going on? 
And I, you know, I don't yeah, and I, I can't speak for the internal thing. I don't know what happened and why they decided not to drop another album after that. But what I read was that there were some differences differences in the group as far as which direction they should go. And I'm gonna go ahead and take a stab at it and probably say NYO I wanted to get maybe more street, no, more no, more militant. Okay. And the okay. other, maybe the other cat wanted to keep it more, you know, lighthearted. Yeah. And, you know, and I don't know if that's right or not. You know what I'm yo, saying? Yo, I and why wants to get out of this conversation? Does he? Okay. Uh, uh, let's have, uh, you want to get out? You want to you pull him in? Patrick. Yeah, I, I'd love to pull him in. Can, yo, can we get you to hold one second, man? No, no. We, no, we, no we, problem. We're going we gonna to pull NY Oil in on a conference call. I love where this is going, man. This, this, is, a, some, this is some interesting talk. Great I interview. I love You it. motherfuckers. Man. Like talking to ten bras at the bar, you dick. What's happening? Yeah. Oil, you there? No. Yeah, I'm here, man. Oil. Hey, hit with something. All right. Okay, hold on, hold on. Hey, we getting it straight. Don't y'all? Yeah, we setting everything up, man. That's right. But no, I love this is you know just a real conversation. I like like it. I like it when when the listeners know more about a situation than me. (laughs) And I appreciate that, Shug, you dick. Yeah. I mean, that's... I, I, I love it. I love it. I don't even admit that motherfuckers know shit more than me, ever. No? But, I, but I've not never, dog. Mm. This is like one of my few times, so I appreciate that shit. <laughs> Shuggy. Nah, man. I do. I, I've been doing my reading, dude. Doing my research. And this shit I remember, though, from being a youngin. Right. I mean, I wasn't that young. I mean, it was like 15. I was a in high school. A lot of shit happened. I didn't really realize what, what, where was where the backing was, where the real relevance of what was happening really was. Yeah. So, you know, I'm young. I'm younger than you. What you got? Four years on me? Uh, three, I think. About three. Eight. Thirty-one. Twenty-eight. Twenty-one. All right, okay. we got him on the air. What's up, oil? Yeah. What's good, oil? Yeah. Yeah. Hey, what's up? Hey, hey, we got hey, oil on, and we got on. Um, we still got Shug. You still with us? Yes, indeed. Okay. Yeah. All right, Oil, go hey, ahead. Black Man, how you feeling, Shug? What you say? I said, what's up, Black Man? How you feeling? It ain't nothing, man. You know, I, I've been seeing you. You know, I, I had, I usually don't do this, but, man, I, I had to take a break from the family to come in and, you know, check you guys out. Um, I was just, just wondering, you know, you know, it seemed like your history on the legacy of Niles, you know, was just seemed a little bitter and just a little off base. I, I, I don't get what you were saying there. That the source had kind of influenced fans to uh, uh, roll with Nas as being a legend. You know, I thought it was like general agreement that the, the man was hot. You know. Okay, well, you know, first let me say that you know I respect and appreciate your opinion, my G. You know what I'm saying? Right. Whether you agree with me or not is, is 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 neither here nor there because your opinion is important. And, right. And I, I I'm going to correct any mischaracterization about me because. You know that that speaks to my integrity, so I got to say whether that's correct or not. But in short, sure. I see it. That's that's your prerogative, and I'm not going to try to change that because I ain't trying to sell nobody on my idea of how things went. Right. Um, I am going to say is this, and and, I, and 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 have a little fun with me real quick. Let me can I do an experiment with y'all? Go right yeah. ahead. Look, because my thing is marketing. All right. So check check this out real fast. I'm gonna give y'all four words. All right. Okay. I right, hear the four words. Uh, ocean, moon, carriage, ball. You got me? What was the last one? Right. Ocean, moon, moon carriage. carriage, and ball. Right? Okay, okay, okay. All right. Now name, don't tell me it. Don't tell me, don't, don't say it out loud. Name a type of car in your mind. Name a type of car. Name a type of car, bottle? Yeah, my little car. Whatever my car comes to you. You got the name them out loud. Lexus. I don't know. Lexus. Okay, cool. All right, that's one. All right, now watch this. Now, you still with me? What we say? Yeah. Ocean, moon, ball, and what was the other one? You said carriage? Carriage. Yeah. Ocean, moon, ball, and carriage, right? Mm Mm-hmm. All right, now don't answer the question. I'm going to answer it for you. Name a type of of, of cold... Clothes detergent, you know what I'm saying? Clothes detergent. Think of a type of clothes detergent. Okay. Ocean, moon, ball, carriage, and name a type of, of clothes detergent. Now, let me ask y'all a question. Is the type of um, clothes detergent you thought of, is it tied? Yes, sir. <laughs> nah, I did. Not for me. I thought tied. Hell no, not for me. Who thought Oxidol? I uh, thought tied. 
I said game. I had game. I said game. I had game. Yeah. I said Cause time. I got that at the house. I get more than one person for a time. My, Jamie, my, my boy, man, my man said Mac. Tie. Yeah, the white dude said Ty. He the one with the money. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so he only one can afford some real. His jaws smell fresh and clean. I watch this marketing dude where he was talking like I, I, I have a sales background. I used to do telephone sales. Mm -hmm. uh, uh, I learned about that. It's about how to manipulate the way people think by framing words. Okay. And, and a real uh, uh, clear frame. Is there's a sales tactic called like it's like a, a bait and switch type of thing where I'm not going to sell you the product that I want you to buy. I'm going to sell you on the person who I'm going to have sell you the product I want you to buy. So uh -huh. I'm you, I'm telling you how incredible this dude is. I want to introduce you to. Mm -hmm. So you got to meet my dude. Yo, this dude is incredibly smart. He's on point. Yo, he do his thing. Yo, yo, he's just yo. Oh man, yo, he be making it happen, son. So by the time you meet this dude, you so hyped up at who this dude must be. That like whatever this dude told was like the gospel. Oh, and that's man. a sales tactic, that's a marketing tactic that's been used for years. I, I know, and I hate to attack, but it's like, to me, you're trying to say that Dives was is basically the product of some marketing conspiracy, that basically, that, that we bought into all this hype because of this, this 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 imagery and all that. I, I I don't roll with that. Like I said, I told these cats. I'm from the I'm from the back with the judge. I had to get mixtapes sitting down here when I was going to school here. I didn't know nothing about the hype of Nas. I just heard them on some stretch all star mixtapes and was like, this motherfucker is nice, you know? And the way that you was exposed to it, you feel me? Now watch what I'm saying. Remember the way you was exposed to it. If you was listening to Bob Dito and Stretch Armstrong mixtapes. The way that you and maybe you might be different, Paul. And I can't, I can't speak to the situation. You know what I'm saying? But I'm right. saying the way you were exposed to it, you were exposed to it vicariously through somebody else who has been manipulated that way. Remember, I'm when I'm telling you again. You, you know what my background is. I spoke. I don't really talk about. I know, but if that's the case, then then I was manipulated into liking Rakim or Melly Mel or 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 or, or Cool Keith or any great MC. I don't buy that. I, I don't know. I like it because it's hot. That's it. There's no, there's no rocket science to it. You know. Talk about Cool Keith and Rock Kim and all of them. Yo, this we yeah. talking pre source. We, we're talking before the the marketing machine behind hip hop existed, Paul. That's that's a but, I mean, there was a marketing machine behind them. I mean, I heard Cool Keith first. They 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 played the fuck out of him on that point seven kiss. At first, I didn't like Ultra Magnet, but I took the time to fucking listen. And be like, yo, this shit is hot. It's just having an open ear. I, I think you're kind of insulting a lot of fans by saying that, well, goddamn, we like dope music based because somebody say we like dope music. People, you know, like, you like a lot of stuff that you don't realize you like because somebody told you to like it. Don't. Oh man. You know, brother. Let me tell you something. If you believe you, half the stuff you probably own right now ain't because it's a quality product, but because the product's been marketed to you and you associated with a quality product. That's what goes on in this world. If you're not recognizing that, you're living on two different planets. This brother's walking around with jeans that's costing hundreds of dollars, not because they work hundreds of dollars, because they're making them in the same sweatshops that they make them $10 jeans that uh, uh, Dave and Buck, or was this, uh, uh, Steve and Barry got. It's the same Chinese sweatshop is making them, but somebody told you that, oh, this is yeah. almost the same. I, and I, 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 I understand that analogy right there, but I'm saying that don't apply to Oh. put his name on it. People, that's what marketing is. They, they, buy, they have psychologists that get behind marketing, B. Now, I'm not, now I'm, not, I, I'm not, again, listen, I'm a customer too because I, I'm buying stuff too. But I, I just so happen to have been in situations where I've been behind the scenes to see how these people do. I, you know, I, I've sold people, I, I can get people's credit cards, social security numbers over the phone right now because of, of the techniques that dudes taught, taught me in a little cold room, bro. brother. I'm not, I'm not making it up. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not denying that. I, I'm not denying that. Like I said, you know. And I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not, I made that point. And the reason why I went to that space is because, number one, everybody in the world ain't a Nas fan, bro. Everybody yeah, else. I, I agree. I understand that. No doubt. You know what I'm saying? And yeah. the attention of people, that's like, yo, son's all right. He's nice. He's not that nice. 
Damn. Okay, hold on. Yeah, I want to take a break, get into a joint. Yeah, I'm loving the conversation. Can we get both of y'all to hold on? Sure. Uh, cool. All right. Yeah, I'm yeah, spend, okay. We about uh-huh. to jump into a little jo- or Joel Ortiz, man, hip hop. Since that's what we oh, arguing God. about. It's what the fuck we love. That's why we doing what we doing. Let's get back to it. Episode number 64. One time.